July 1947 marks a historic juncture in the field of legal education in Sri Lanka. It was in this year where, under the Faculty of Arts of the then University of Ceylon, the Department of Law was established. At the time of establishment, it was located in the College House purchased by the government in 1920 for the purpose of setting up the University College which was the forerunner of the University of Ceylon. Subsequently, the Department of Law was shifted to Peradeniya in 1950 where the first law degrees were awarded. In 1965, the Department of Law was brought back to its original place when it was transferred to University of Ceylon, Colombo, where it continued to be under the Faculty of Arts. It was in 1967 that it was upgraded to become the Faculty of Law. The University of Ceylon subsequently became the University of Colombo. From there onwards, the Faculty of Law, which is the only Faculty of Law in the entire university system of this country to date, has embarked on a mission of producing outstanding legal personalities to the nation while maintaining an inextricable link with the University of Colombo. Welcome to another event with Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today we are here at the Monarch Imperial celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Faculty of Law at University of Colombo. Stay tuned with Hi Events to find out more. I'm here with Professor Kokila, the chairperson at the Diamond Jubilee of Faculty of Law, University of Colombo. Professor, can you tell us about the overview of the academic activities that were conducted during the Diamond Jubilee? Exactly. Uh, it is with great honor and pride that I am standing here as a chairperson of the Diamond Jubilee celebrations of the Faculty of Law. And uh, we actually, uh, myself and my team, focus on uh, different categories of people who are involved with the faculty. And we organize uh, several events uh, focusing on that. So we have uh, undergraduate students, postgraduate students, academia and alumni, and also non-academic staff who contributed towards this. So one event was uh, the international conference uh, on, uh, for the, to celebrate the German Jubilee. And also we have uh, different units and centers which also contributed uh, several uh, items for the Diamond Jubilee celebrations, different international conferences, and also we have student staff exchange program with Pune Law School. And so likewise, there were many uh, different uh, things. And also today, we are here for the alumni dinner, uh, which is a fabulous event that we all were looking forward. And um, also, uh, we also had back to faculty 
Bea, the, uh, His Excellency, the uh, head of the state, also uh, one of our alumni, and uh, he uh, attended too. So we had about hundreds of uh, past uh, students who gathered for the Back to Faculty event. Uh, and also photographic exhibitions and other conferences, student activities, and also we are looking forward to uh, hold a cultural event to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee uh, celebrations. Okay, so there's a lot that was happening. Can you tell us about the cultural event? When is it happening? What is it going to be about? Yes, so it will be happening uh, at the end of this year and that will celebrate the conclusion of the Diamond of Jubilee celebration which started last year September and uh, we had the uh, theme of the Diamond Jubilee uh, All for Law, Law for All. So uh, carrying on the same theme, we are going to celebrate it through aesthetic uh, as, uh, inspirations and we are going to have this uh, most probably uh, with the involvement of uh, undergraduate postgraduate academia and also non-academic staff and alumni. So there will be many uh, interesting items, performance uh, showcasing on that day and with that we are going to conclude the Diamond Jubilee celebrations and uh, we are very proud here, standing here uh, after 75 years of uh, Diamond Jubilee, uh, celebrating Diamond Jubilee and also uh, for the first time after 75 years we launched the faculty anthem. So that is also very significant contribution uh, done by the faculty uh, students and the staff. So any last words for our viewers? Yes, so I think that uh, we as the uh, committee of the uh, Diamond Jubilee celebrations, we, um, we are very proud of, uh, proud and honored to be a part of this. And I'm sure that these celebrations for us is lifetime because this is very significant contribution by the Faculty of Law, the only law faculty in the country uh, under the university system. And also uh, with 75 years of prestige history, uh, we are standing as the pioneer legal institution uh, in the country. Uh, so I think that uh, I, I, we all uh, celebrate this uh, momentum and the landmark milestone of the Faculty of Law. And uh, also I think uh, I wish our alma mater uh, long life and uh, cheers to the Faculty of Law and salutation to Vaiwala Law Faculty. to welcome you all to this celebration of 75 years of the Faculty of Law, University of Colombo, organized by the Alumni Association of the Faculty of Law. Firstly, uh, it's, I want to say how, uh, what, that it is a real honor for us at the Alumni Association to host this eminent gathering of, and to welcome the honorable judges of the Supreme Court the Court of Appeal, Professors of Law, President's Council, and our alumni and their spouses to this celebration marking the 75th year of the faculty. I would like to, in particular, recognize on behalf of the Executive Committee and the Chairperson of, for this event, Mr. Mohammed Elias, President's Council, our distinguished invitees. Lord Chief Justice Janta Jaisuria, President's Council, Honorable Attorney General Sanjay Rajaratnam, Attorney General, former Chief Justice Asoka De Silva, who is the chair of our Education Trust, for which this event is also a fundraiser, Emeritus Professor G.L. Pires, 
and Emeritus Professor Savitri Gunasekara, both alumni and revered lecturers and vice chancellors of the University of Colombo. Professor H.T. Karuna Ratna, Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Professor Sampath Punchiheva, the Dean of the Faculty of Law, Dr. Atula Patinaika, Principal Law College, and Mr. Kaushalya Navaratna, President of the Bar Association. We thank you for accepting our invitation. The vision of the Faculty of Law is to promote the full development of individual personalities, including in them a commitment to justice and a sense of responsibility to the wider community. As its mission, the Faculty of Law is committed to legal education and research which maintains standards of excellence and responds to social challenges and needs. It is committed to achieving this mission within a university community based on academic freedom including respect for dissent and diversity and a culture of learning. I'm here with Mr. Teja Silva, Senior Vice President, Legal and Company Secretary of Union Bank. Mr. Teja, can you tell us how the corporate and the private sector can help the Faculty of Law? Yes, uh, the corporate uh, sector, especially the private sector, can uh, do a significant um, assistance to the law faculty and the students that pass out from the law faculty but in, ma in many ways um, the alumni association who is organizing this function has organized um, certain programs where the undergraduates are sent on short-term internships to the corporate sector so using that uh, the corporate sector can help the faculty the student and themselves by uh, exposing these students to the corporate sector, uh, giving them an understanding of what the expectations of the corporate sector are, so that um, the graduates who come out of the law faculty would be ready to meet the expectations of the corporate world. Right. And Mr. Teja Silva, what do you think about the Diamond Jubilee? Oh, 75 years of service is a great thing, and it, it's worth celebrating. And in, during these 75 years, uh, Law faculty has produced many a great person who has contributed immensely to the Sri Lankan economy, the legal field. Um, personally, I have been there a long time ago, but, uh, and both my wife and I are from the faculty, so we are glad to be here. Some dreams live on in time forever. Those dreams you want with all your heart And I'll do whatever it takes Follow through with the promise I made objectives of legal education at the Faculty of Law focuses not only on the transmission of knowledge but also on inculcating important and vital skills as well as proper attitudes to be a graduate with social responsibility. The faculty has always endeavored to train undergraduates to contribute to the rule of law and be responsible citizens who are well versed in the ways of society. For 75 long years, the faculty has been fulfilling its obligations to society and the nation. And for many years ahead, the faculty of law will continue on its astounding journey.
I'm here with Mr. Seneca the Serum, Senior Council Member of the Alumni Association. Mr. Seneca, can you tell us how the private and the corporate sector can help the Faculty of Law? Yes, first of all, thank you for being here. It's a privilege to be here after 75 years. Uh, so I would like to say what the private bar can do, that is the private practicing lawyers can do for the Alumni Association. They have been a tower of strength to us throughout the years. So we have numerous programs. One is the internship program, as you know. The law faculty comprises of people from all over Sri Lanka. They are coming through their A-level results, A-level marks. So because of that, you find people of different categories, of different societies coming to the law faculty, and you need to help them. And the main thing they have is when they come to Colombo, they have no connections. So we were privileged, we were born in Colombo, we went to Colombo schools, but the others don't have that privilege. So what they, we knew is we have this internship program. You can get the help to be part of their internship. And then we have formulated this trust because as you know, not all are privileged financially. So uh, education is a cost. And though uh, the degree is free, there is a cost of staying in Colombo, living in Colombo. Textbooks are expensive. Law is a very expensive subject. So that the trust, they can donate to the trust and we can help the people from the trust. That's fantastic news for anyone who is interested in applying to the Faculty of Law. Mr. Seneca, can I also get your thoughts on the Diamond Jubilee that is taking place here? Yes, now we are very happy to be here because after so many years, this faculty started in Peyrodenia and it came to Colombo and now we are celebrating 75 years and we have managed to attract the crowd, not only from our faculty, but others as well. So they are hand in glove with us in our assistance. And it's, 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 it's a great event to be here. It's good. Stepping into the year 2022, the Faculty of Law continues its unparalleled service as the molding ground for future legal personalities of the nation. It has constantly strived to provide ample opportunities and facilities to students to achieve academic excellence, while also encouraging them to be well-rounded individuals. The Faculty of Law has always embraced the updates and advancements of the modern world, duly incorporating them into the mode of study. We, as we stand here today, we feel extremely proud of our 75-year-old legacy, the culture of academic excellence that has been pursued by so many generations. The law faculty is a living and breathing ecosystem. At present, the law faculty enrolls 325 students per year. The 75th anniversary of the faculty of law gives us an opportunity to reflect, remember and acknowledge the profound gratitude all those who have contributed to make the faculty of law what it is today. I fondly and gratefully remember the generations of students and teachers who have made this faculty a prestigious institution for legal education in Sri Lanka. I'm here with Mr. Mohammed Dilias, President's Council, immediate past president of the Alumni Association, as well as the chairperson of the 75th anniversary University of Colombo's Faculty of Law celebrations. Mr. Dilias, can you tell us 
about the establishment of the association and what the association is doing right now. The association was started by late Justice Mark Fernando. He felt that the students of the law faculty specifically needed help. When I say help, not only financial, but how they should continue in their practice, finding seniors, mentorship, and what they should do when they pass out. So we used to have workshops and various functions to ensure that the students benefited thereof. And the association has been going on since then. And today, when the university is celebrating 75th year, we thought we'll have this dinner to have all the alumni of the, of the law faculty to ensure that they also become aware of our association and what we have done. And uh, what are your thoughts for our viewers? Yes. What we did was we started a trust. The trust created in such a way that the, there is continuity and perpetuity of the, uh, to help the students. Just, uh, former Justice Asoka de Silva, Chief Justice Asoka de Silva is the chairman of this trust and we, have, we collect monies and have them in the account and we help students who need to give them scholarship every year. And that's a wrap folks. Thank you to our viewers for staying with us here tonight. And until next event, I'm your presenter Adisha Chalankar. Take care.